Hi right, guys, how's it going? Welcome back. It's some more Death Cells. Very disappointing <laughs> end to my previous run. Uh, Frantic Sword Spike Shield. I assume I still can't come in here. Oh man, I will figure this out. I will figure that one out for sure. Uh, instant uh, Respawn Heart, please. That's at least good, um, or good enough. Um, frantic Sword, not quite as good. It's the one that it's after, oh, if I'm below a certain amount of health. I thought it was the one after I took damage. Um, I mean, like, I like this sword because all I have to do is stay, like, within a certain amount of health. And obviously, the, the more health I have, the stronger I get, but, or, like, the easier it is to stay strong. I timed that one horribly, but it all worked out. Okay, so I need to stop relying so much on my shield. But also, the frantic sword doesn't deal a whole lot of damage. I don't actually want the sturdy shield. I do prefer the uh, spiked one. To be that at least you know it deals damage to the enemies. Um, ice grenade one, unideal. Treasure room, hopefully very ideal, but you never know. Ivy grenade two is whatever. That's my exit towards the ossuary with no upgrades so far. That's gonna be my exit towards the toxic sewers. Oh no. I need to get an upgrade. I need to get at least one upgrade here. If not, um, you know, I don't see this going over too well. That's a, another great thing that she told me that this isn't going to go over too well. <clears throat> was taking that damage there because that was just idiotic of me. Uh, I will open the Curse of Treasure. I know I already have two items and everything, but. Uh, I also already have an amulet that I don't really want to trade. Oh man. Still no upgrades. Are you... Are you for real, dude? Oh, he's done it. He's got one upgrade and it's gonna go strength. As per usual. Uh, and a... Uh, we'll break. No, we won't. Because I think it gives me like 20 curse or something to break that one. And if I have the money, I might as well just use the money for it. I'm just gonna go to the promenade. I feel like having an easy run compared to what we had last time. So we're gonna go the, the easy way here. Can't quite get vampirism, but if we beat the promenade, which we most likely will, I'll get vampirism. Which vampirism seems um, like a really cool idea to get like the health regen for a set amount of time, but like if I take damage within that time, it's extra damage. It seems pretty cool. We'll just take Impaler 2 because the Impaler attacks so fast. I completely forgot I was even cursed there. That could have been like really bad. I can't believe that guy counted as near a wall, considering he was literally through the wall. Let's go. I don't actually want the magnetic grenade. Even though I do think I prefer the magnetic grenade over the IV grenade. Yeah, I think I prefer the mag magnet over ivy. Come on, let's go. Because at least, yeah, like the magnetic grenade will hurt everyone for some periods of time. Nope, none of them are worth sacrificing my respawn for. I do still, I don't know, one of these days I'm going to pick one run that's going to be uh, exclusively for time doors. Miss it by 19 seconds. If I hadn't gone to the shop, I would have found it. 
Which is a little sad, but it's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna like have to dedicate a run to uh, just... Oh, that guy's moonwalking. To just like the speedrun aspect of it, I suppose. Because I do want to find the Ramparts door at some point. I think that the one like that one and the boss door I have yet to like actually just get on my own. I don't think it didn't hit me. That's okay though. Oh, oh god. Silly damage. Uh, 6,000. Sure, why not? Oh, I still have to be up here to pick them all up. Okay. I don't know if it was worth it to get 18, but, um... I think I'm just gonna accept my decision and move on with it. Old sewers. I had a feeling that it was gonna be there, and I still, I still went for it, so... This is my fault. I... I think I'll keep the spike shield for now. Oh, I didn't think I could actually like drag that thing with me. Like the little scarecrow, whatever. I didn't know I was I was also going to be dragging that along. Another ivy grenade. Ivy grenade three now though. They're they're trying to entice me with these ivy grenades. Oh, I didn't even see this here. I think I'm going to try it because I'm, it's unlikely that I make this six minute door. I took too long. I took too long! I still don't understand how I'm supposed to avoid that obstacle, but I guess it's okay. Uh, and that's it. This is my exit. I want to know if there's anything on this side. Oh my god, there is? What? The prison depths are on this side. Oh my. I never knew that. Well, I don't want to go to the prison depths. And you're not allowed to go to them unless you have the ability to teleport. That's also very good for me to know. Um, talk to him, please. Vampirism, and then just... Uh, Make the vampirism stronger. And then just invest into the flash grenade. Plus 15% power. So I drop this one for it. Recover 1.6 HP per melee hit. Uh, that you deal for 6 seconds. Also take extra damage. Okay. And I release a poison cloud. The ramparts. Let's go. We're going the easy way. I guess the toxic sewers are probably easier than the ramparts, but that's neither here nor there at the moment. And there you go, I missed the time door, so it, it wasn't going to happen anyway. Alright, let's test out this vampirism. Uh, I mean, it's alright, I guess. It's not perfect. But it's also not terrible. Part of me wants to not explore the ramparts at all. So that I can just uh, get the boss's door finally. But at 322, I feel like I have to at least try to explore. Because my stats are not um, ideal at the moment. And I feel like they should be ideal. Oh god. Come on, let's go. Yep, missed it by a whole minute. Not good. So like the uh, 10 or whatever seconds I spent inside the <laughs> challenge room really didn't uh, affect anything at all. Uh, yes, I will take flamethrower. I guess over the ice grenade, as good as the ice grenade is to me, um, I'd rather do this. Does that directly, oh that does directly affect vampirism. 
Because now it's 0.8. It's 0.8 more, I'm sorry. Cost bleed. I still think I prefer to take strength, though, over skills. Uh... No, I'll, I'll keep Vampirism. I mean, I, I should be using it. Oh god, that was so- Oh no! I forgot that I take extra damage, or increased damage there. Not good, not good. Throw the turret down. Block everything! Parry so much. Okay, so I'm not as big of a fan of, of the Vampirism as I thought I was going to be. That's just the shove shield. Oh god, this has gone horribly wrong. I basically threw away that 3000 there. Sure, just go to the boss fight. Don't even... Don't even worry about it. Hopefully I'm strong enough here to, uh... Um... I'll just put it into the Nutcracker, why not? Okay. Um... Yeah, well, God, what was I saying? Yeah, I hope I w I'm able to beat him in time. Now that I know it's 10 minutes, not 11 minutes, so... This has to pretty much go a lot faster than I'm used to it going. Set the turret down. Don't even worry about nothing, dog. Just if I block everything, I'll never have to worry again in my life, is what I'm going to tell myself. Mainly because it's so rare to be able to like afford to uh... What's he doing? Okay, now I'm timing this horribly wrong. But I think I should be able to get him within my allotted time limit here. Okay, not if we do a bunch of stupid shit like that. God damn it, please just, just die. I really shouldn't have gone back to pick up that money, but I don't think it's going to make the difference. Come on, come on, let's go. Speed run. 40 seconds left. Oh, so it's 10.30. Oh, I did that just for some more cells. For real? Um, like, for real? I did that for cells? Okay. <laughs> okay, game. That's cool. Alright, let's carry on, I guess. To the Fog Fjord. Not very powerful at all. 4-3-2 is, uh, like, definitely not where I would like to be in this area of the game. Impaler is also not my weapon of choice. Yeah, take the skill stuff, Greg. I feel like I'm eventually gonna have to go back to doing like the skills upgrade only runs. But I feel like when I, I'm only taking strength upgrades, I only get skills upgrades from the game. And vice versa. Oh god, I'm so... So surprised I was able to block the the bat's explosion there. I don't believe there's any more timed doors. There might be one after the watcher, but 
Netflix, I have to, you know, beat the watcher for that to become relevant to my life. Horribly timed dot. Oh my goodness, please. Let's go, easy money. I know, like, the fog door doesn't seem as hard anymore, but, like, as soon as I find the stupid captains, that's when this place gets really difficult. Or at least, I think so. That might not be a shared sentiment, but I believe it to be true. I mean... I did take damage there, but I did also recover some health, so I don't know if that's like a net positive. Okay, yeah, I don't know if it's a net positive or like a net negative. Uh, overall upgrade is going to be going to strength. Uh, having only two health does scare me quite a bit. Um, But I believe that the game will just get me to where I need to go. I fully trust the game here. I don't know why it blocks twice for me sometimes. But who knows and honestly, who gives a shit? Alright, there you go. Let's go back up to full, back up to full. Well, I'm glad it blocked twice there because it saved me a lot of heartache. Is that just better vampirism? 4.5? Okay, sure, why not? Plus 55% power, I'm not too sure what that means exactly, but, you know, I'm not going to complain about it. If that's what you're thinking. How are those not all crits? Don't even ask me why I activated Vampirism when I was at full HP. Because I don't have a real answer for you outside of I'm an idiot. I think it might be better to take the Spiked Shield as much as I like the Universal Bleed effect. I think the spiked shield is a good change of pace for a spear. Obviously I don't get the the bleed effects associated, but I think it's fine. Okay, hold on a minute. We have to we have to heal back up the pool right now. Because taking those explosive hits is, like, really dumb of me to be doing. Oh man, I really hate those grenades. Oh, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Yada yada, goodbye.